So I will say that uh, I did eventually get this out and the, uh, the depth screw uh, really came out. What I wound up doing actually was uh, when this was on still um, just sort of very very gently tapping it with a hammer as I had a large screwdriver at this end and twisted it and that got it to uh, break through and feed. That's after several cycles of uh, cleaning with this uh, citrus uh, degreaser cleaner and then I used what, some of this uh, penetrating oil. So that got uh, all of this uh, apart with the uh, depth uh, setting me micrometer mechanism, the uh, uh, little uh, catch uh, clip right here, and then the uh, screw. So this is all uh, taken apart now. It'll need to be cleaned up really good. Uh, this is attached to the quill, and uh, that's the stop nut. And so I'll uh, I'll probably take that apart as well in the next step. I'm not sure if I can take the spindle out or not. Um, I'll point over to here. This, the felt looks like it was out. You have the oiler right here, which has some gunk in it. Just hit it. Get over. No. I want to get this And uh, probably replace any uh, felt in there. And then... Uh, comes down into here on the spindle and I'll probably take that out and clean it but I believe there is let me just point down into here um, I believe right up uh, right here from attached to here and then on the other side uh, attached uh, to this screw right here. I believe there's supposed to be a piece of felt no, no, no. over no, the no, uh, spindle no, um, as a uh, like a cover or something. So I think that's missing in this. But the spindle itself looks like it spins just fine. And I'm not sure how far I'm going to continue disassembling because everything actually Otherwise, internally, really looks pretty good. Um, not a lot of wear or anything. So I think it just may need some paint cleaning up, uh, getting the external debris out. This is from a plastics factory. And unfortunately, I think uh, a lot of uh, junk just sort of sprayed up. And I'm not sure how clean they kept the outside of it. But at least it looks like the inside probably has been rebuilt at least once, uh, maybe more. And so this area will all have to be totally cleaned here as well. Um, there's a junk in there. It'll make the uh, feed mechanism move smoothly. And then this, I, wanna, I do want to take this apart. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that bearing out of there. Again, dental pick may be the way to go for now, over and out.